Hello and welcome to Trucking Answers. I'm Mark and I've been a driver for over 30 years and I think we should get paid for all of our time and we should get treated like the licensed professional that we are. If you agree, it's time for you to subscribe. All right, look, let's talk about Michigan. Michigan roadside oral drug testing swabs. All right. Uh, if you are a reader of my blog, which you should be at truckinganswersnation.com slash blog, I recently blogged about this and uh, let's talk about it. Michigan last year had a pilot testing program of uh, swabbing the inside of your mouth and then sticking this thing in a gizmo and seeing if you tested positive for any kind of drugs. It did not test for alcohol. So, uh, because of uh, the success of that program, which we're going to talk about here, they're going to do it starting soon statewide. So, every county in the state that wants to will be able to do a roadside mouth swab test for you. And then they take that and put it in their little gizmo and then see if you are on drugs. Well, Mark, you're saying, what could possibly be wrong with that? We don't want people with drugs on the road. Well, all right. So, they cannot test you just randomly. They have to see a sign of impairment and then they can test you. What are some signs of impairment according to the Michigan State Police? Well, let's take a look at them. Driving too fast. Driving too slow. So it means every prime truck, right? Weaving in your lane. Not using your turn signal. Not using your turn signal according to the Michigan State Police is indicative of driving well impaired. So they pull you over not using your turn signal. They go, look, we need to get a mouth swab right here. You go, I'm not doing it. Okay. It's a civil infraction if you refuse. It isn't voluntary if they say you have to do it. Isn't that crazy? So if you refuse it, uh, you want that on your record, refuse the drug test, guess what? Psh, fired. Okay, is that right? No, absolutely not. Now in the pilot program, they tested 92 people and arrested 89 of them. Here's the beauty part of this. Guess what? A bunch of them were false because when you go down to the police station, they do a blood draw because that's what they need for court. Okay, so they had 20 of them, 20 out of 20 out of 92 were false positives. 20 out of 92. Is that crazy? And there were nine false negatives. So that means out of 92 tests, 29 of them were wrong. Nearly one third, nearly a third. That's a huge problem because, okay, so you do this blood thing and they go, oh, you're on that whatever drug, right? And they take you downtown. You're arrested. You've got a drug arrest on you. That's number one. Number two, they impound your truck. Okay. So they tow it off the road and call the company and go, we just arrested your driver for drugs and we're impounding your truck. Now what? Do you think you have a job? No, you get out two days later because they do a blood test and find out, oh, it wasn't true because a third of them were wrong according to the state police. It doesn't matter. You're fired. The truck's gone. If you own that truck, they're gonna impound that truck. You're gonna go pay, what, $3,000 to get out of impound, 2,000 bucks, whatever the tow is. The load's late. Maybe it's spoiled if it ran out of reefer fuel. Maybe everything's stolen out of it. Who knows what happens in the impound? I mean, this is, this is just crazy. This is craziness. I can't believe that people allow it. And, and of course, so they have a third, nearly a third are wrong. And they're like, oh, okay, well, we'll just do it all over the whole state then. How awesome is that? And the police, they had some cop out there. Oh, well, this is going to be a great uh, way for us to get uh, drugged people off the road. That's a bunch of garbage. Okay, that's a bunch. All those cops should be arrested that are doing that. This is just the most ridiculous thing. To expand it to the whole state, I mean, not using your turn signal, that's, that's a sign of impairment. Going slow, every prime driver has, is impaired then. Okay, I mean, it's just ridiculous. This, you know, they, they might be brainwashed, but they're not impaired, I guess. I mean, come on, look, <laughs> the, the, that might be something, but this is not, that might be hilarious, but this isn't funny that you could be taken off the side of the road 
because you didn't use your turn signal properly, according to the cop, arrested and then released two days later because the test is wrong, you just lost your job. And an arrest is on your record. It stays on your record. I can find it out. It's a public document. So later, somebody looks that up and goes, oh, you were arrested for drugs? You were arrested on a drug arrest? You've got a problem. It doesn't matter that you're not convicted of it, okay? An arrest is on your record. Remember that don't tolerate this why are people up there tolerating what's going to have to happen is people that are wrongly arrested are going to have to get a lawyer and get together and do a class action because they're the ones that are affected by it and that's the only way it's going to stop that people elect politicians like this is just ridiculous all right the whole thing's ridiculous i don't like it and it needs to end you know that isn't freedom that's not what this is about oh, so off of that rant today the you know just ridiculous I'm out of here, all right? Thanks for watching, and uh, we'll be back soon in the next Trucking Answers.